I put the everything in this? Zachariah is making one of the best games ever. Ultimate! Hold on, we got a real quick public service announcement. I know a lot of y'all probably graduating school and shit, got your degree, diploma, I don't give a fuck. Side shelf that shit, man. This is way more important, okay? I really wanted to talk about this back when the Ridley trailer first was revealed, but I didn't want to look like one of those crazy conspiracy theory dudes. However, the time has now come. We gotta go back to the year 2014, early April. Nintendo had announced there would be a Smash Brothers themed Direct. And this one was hosted by Sakurai himself with a translator over it as he went over random facts and details about Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U. He was in the middle of talking about boss hazards for stages and at around 7 minutes and 17 seconds of the video, he showcases Pikachu on a seemingly Metroid stage with a shadow looming over it and some kind of interaction happens between the two and then it goes on to the next part. A lot of people, uh, myself included, saw this as some way of indicating that Ridley was going to be playable in Wii U and 3DS. Looking back now, yes, it seems like I was a little bit obsessive, but I, I thought for a fact that there was something there. I proceeded to make a video about it a little while later. Fast forward to today, Ridley is now a playable character and in his trailer, I feel like there was an Easter egg left for me, or maybe not exactly me, but I mean for the people who believe that that was him playable way back in that direct in April of 2014. There's a part right in the beginning where I think they call this out. And this is where Ridley and Pikachu are, funnily enough, together, one of the Metroid come around and jump on Ridley's head, and then Pikachu's kind of like, it, the, the interaction looks so strange, and you see Pikachu waving? What the fuck? I think this was a message, dog. I know, I, I look. But this wouldn't be the first time that a pop culture reference was mentioned inside of a character reveal trailer. Think about the cloud reveal way back. And in the end of that, he beat the shit out of Ike with the Omni Slash. There's a reason for this. Way back in the day, I'm not sure how many of you guys saw it when it first came out, but there was a video called Brawl Taunts, which dropped on Newgrounds.com. We must be talking 10 years ago. And in that video, there was a very specific reference made to Cloud and Ike together, where Ike beat the shit out of somebody who said they wanted Cloud in the game. Hey guys, you know, it would have been awesome in Brawl if, like, they put in Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> I can help me. Uh, You'll get no sympathy from me. I'm the only pretty boy in this game. Bitch. And then years later in Cloud's reveal, he beats the shit out of Ike. It got a lot of popularity because it was one of the first times we've seen a Flash animation involve Smash Brothers and it blew up. So if a pop culture reference like that, so obscure from way back in the day, 10 years ago, can be referenced, then who's to say that he's not trying to call out the dudes that thought that was a playable Ridley in the shadow, man? Sakurai, Nintendo, whoever the fuck manages this kind of shit, I see what you guys are doing. And this is just one reference that I made. There's probably a bunch of other pop culture references and takeaways from stuff that I didn't even catch on to that you guys probably did, man. So leave in the comments if you've noticed some stuff that Nintendo's referenced in other Smash Brothers reveal trailers. I think this is one 100%. Let me know what you think, dog. I just had to get this out of there.